Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, and as promised, here is the Blender version of the Medieval Door Set. You can see on screen now all the doors and how much content there is in this massive pack. These are great if you're into 3D printing things like tabletop miniatures or role playing games. They're great for renders where you want to do paint overs in Photoshop or even amazing renders within Blender itself. You can see the doors are extremely detailed but more importantly varied to fit whatever scene or design you're trying to create. But enough of all that, let me show you what you get in the pack and more importantly how we import these brushes into Blender. So I thought I'd start out in a brand new scene to show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is just delete the camera and delete the light and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my cube and I'm basically going to give this some subdivisions just so I can show you how to one bring in the brushes and secondly how to actually use them. So let's come over to the little spanner, I'm going to add a modifier in and I'm going to bring in a multi resolution and I'm just going to turn that up to give us a few million polygons to actually work with. So we've got 3.1 million that should be enough and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale it up just a little bit. Now to actually bring in the brushes all you need to do is you need to come over to file and you will have downloaded the blender file that comes with the download pack from the links down below. So if you come to file, come down to where it says append, and then you're going to go to the file where you've saved it. This is where the blender save is. You can see it's 180 megabytes. And the reason it's so large is because within that file, I've actually showed each of the doors. So they're all set out nicely so you can actually see exactly what you've got. All right, so all you need to do is double click this. And then what you'll do is you'll come to the top one where it says brushes. And then you'll see that they've all been named perfectly. So you've got door one. And all you need to do is just scroll down to door 25, hold the shift button, left click, and there we go. And now you can just click append. And now actually all the brushes are actually in. So what we need to do now is we just come over to where it says sculpting, let it load up, take off the actual mirror, and now you'll see on the left hand side, under the draw brush, if you click this icon, you'll see that they all load in. You can see each actual door has an actual um, icon which fits what the door actually looks like. And then it's simply a case of picking your door, pulling it out, and there you go. Hey presto, there's your actual door. You can come over and change the strength. I wouldn't change any of the other settings that I've actually set up for you, but you can certainly uh, change the strength to actually make this stick out a little bit more or something like that. And again, we can just come to another door, pick a door, pull it out, and hey presto, there we go. Really, really easy to use. Lots and lots of uses that you can use them for, and I hope you really enjoy it. The other thing, of course, that comes with the pack is 25 actual displacement maps. So you can take those displacements and bring them into other software if you actually want to. And that makes it extremely handy if you're not only using these doors within Blender itself. So if you like this demonstration of the Blender Medieval Brush Pack, give me a like. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're interested in supporting me or the courses I produce, check out the links down below. Okay, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next one. Happy modeling, everyone. Bye-bye.